Hey, this is Paul from Wondershare Mobile Trans, and today is a very exciting day because this is not just a normal video. This is actually the unboxing of this, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. We're always really excited at Mobile Trans when we get the brand new iPhones in. And this year, we went for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So the biggest, the best phone that Apple sell at the moment. And there are a few new things that you will need to know, and we'll get to that in the video. But first, let's do a very quick unboxing and have a look how this compares to last year's iPhone 12 Pro. When you unbox the phone, basically what happens here is you don't get much in the box anymore. So when you first take it out, all you get is that USB-C to lightning cable, and you get the little bit of paperwork that Apple put into the box, and you get an Apple sticker as well. But of course, course, you then get the phone, which this year doesn't have any sort of plastic on it at all. That plastic is gone. It is all paper. And there is a difference here. So if we're comparing this to the iPhone 12 Pro that you've seen on the channel in the last couple of months, then this is a big difference because this phone is really big. So the 12 Pro Max has a 6.7 inch display and so did last year's, but comparing it to the Pro that we had, that was 6.1 inches. And it's a huge difference when you get them side by side and you just get them in your hand. The other big difference is that if a phone is bigger, it also weighs more. And this 13 Pro Max certainly does weigh more. It is not massively more, but it does have a bigger battery. So the weight on this phone, if you're going to pick one up, is just a little bit bigger. And I should probably mention the color that you can see here is Sierra Blue. So it's Apple's new big flagship color and it's almost quite subtle. It's not a really big in your face blue. This is just a nice little almost gray, almost silver type of mixed color of those two. Okay, now we've unboxed it, we should talk to you about some of those new features. So one of the big new features on this phone is cinematic mode. And you'd have seen this in Apple's adverts. So what cinematic mode is, is it is portrait mode, but for video, so it can blur the background so you don't see those objects properly. And what you can do as well is that you can actually select the objects to be blurred out and the ones that are gonna be in focus. And if that is not good enough, what you can do after it is go into the phone, it's photo editing app, and you can edit what was in and out of focus after you have taken the video. So that is a huge step forward. There are also new photo styles as well in the camera app. And these are quite similar to filters that you can put on your photos. But instead of it filtering out the entire photo, what it will do is it will filter out most of the photo except for skin tones. So that means that the filter won't affect how someone looks in a photo. So the A15 Bionic chip, which we'll talk Talk about in a second, intelligently knows when there's a person in the photo and doesn't apply that photographic style to the person. There's also improved low light photography on this phone and we'll probably have a look at that in the next couple of weeks on the channel. So make sure you are subscribed to Mobile Trans so you don't miss any of that. But something that we can have a look at very quickly is now there is a macro mode on that wide angle lens that Apple put in a few years ago. What this means is that you can get really close to a subject and get some really good detail out of it. And all you have to do is choose that wide angle lens, go within a couple of centimeters of that object and the camera will automatically switch to macro mode and then you can get some nice good close up shots like you've never been able to get before. And the big thing on the iPhone 13 Pros for the Pro Max and the regular Pro this year is that Super Retina XDR Pro Motion Display, which means that 120 hertz is finally on an iPhone. For the last couple of years, it's been 60 hertz on the iPhones and you get 60 hertz on the iPhone 13s, the regular 13s as well. And if you compare them together, you can actually see there's quite a difference in how they look. The 13 Pro Max is incredibly smooth. It looks really nice to use. Whereas this 13 at the side here just looks a little bit stuttery, a little bit ghosty. So you can see the difference and it is huge. One that we really like here at 
mobile trends. Now with Apple's brand new phones, you always expect an increase in battery life and you get that on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And listen to this, you get up to 28 hours of battery life on your brand new phone, which is insane. That is more than an entire day's worth of battery life on the 13 Pro Max. And we'll have to see how that actually works in real life day to day. But just while having it here, we can't say that that battery life has massively increased. But Apple said 28 hours, and that is huge. And what helps with that is Apple's A15 Bionic chip. The A15 Bionic chip is the biggest and the best chip that Apple can put into one of their iPhones. And and which means that these phones are the fastest iPhones that Apple have ever released. And that's saying something because last year's 12 Pros were incredibly quick with photo editing, with everything that you might want to do. And now with that A15, it just means that these 13 Pros are gonna be able to handle even more power for gaming, photo, and video editing. So this is something that people are really excited about because how much more power can you give to a pro iPhone. Apple have said, here, we've got more. Take the A15 Bionic chip. And of course, with any flagship phone now, you will get 5G, and that is what is inside these iPhones. So if you need some super fast 5G and you can get it in the area that you live, then there we go. The iPhone 13 Pro Max will do that for you. And not just that with 5G, you also get some fantastic water and dust resistance now on the iPhone 13 Pros. So you can submerge them into two meters of water up to 30 minutes and your iPhone should be fine. Let's not test it, but your iPhone should, fingers crossed, be good. And then it comes to the part where would I recommend buying one of these 13 Pros? And it's a really hard one because if you have a 12 Pro from last year, I would say maybe hold off until next year's iPhone because there is not a huge amount that has been upgraded here. If you have an older iPhone though, so an iPhone 10 or even older than that, then these are the perfect iPhones for you because they have incredible cameras. They are super quick with that A15 Bionic chip and going from an older iPhone from this, you will see a huge, huge increase in how powerful the phone can be but like I said if you have the iPhone 12 Pro then maybe this year you could give it a miss unless you really want that Pro display which is why I've upgraded because 120 Hertz on a phone I couldn't say no before we go though if you are gonna buy one of these phones what you might want to do is move over all of your data and luckily for you there is a tool out there called mobile trans mobile trans can quickly and easily and of course safely move over all of your data from one phone to another Another. You can do it from Android to iPhone, or you can do it from iPhone to iPhone, which might be a big help for a lot of you watching this video. You can move over almost everything from contacts, photos, media, voice memos, and documents. And it is really quick and easy. It takes just a couple of minutes and it is just done with one click. So you don't need any technical knowledge to be able to use mobile trans. So check the description below and we will link you directly to the mobile trans official website where you can download this software. There we go. That is the iPhone 13 Pro Max first look. And of course, we had it in Sierra Blue. If you've got it in another color, then why not let us know in the comments below? Or if you think that this year is a year to skip, then tell us why. We'll be interested to find out why you wanna keep your phone and not upgrade to these brand new iPhone 13s. If you need any help, of course, with anything, let us know in the comments below. And of course, we will try and make a video for you for that. So make sure you subscribe, like the video as well, and we will see you on the next one.